So this is using the uh, console, um, the display pedestal, and uh, the uh, single instruction and other modes to show how the 1130 replica is working. So right now I've got this in single instruction mode, as you can see from the mode switch here, so that each time I press start, I'm gonna execute one instruction. So the first one is a branch at location zero that's gonna take us to hex 10. So now we're at hex 10, you can see the operation code is uh, uh, 111, so that's a 70, which is a, a branch in MDX. And um, we can see the location here. Now the next instruction is going to be a start I.O. to start the card reader. So I'm going to put this in single step mode to show you the, the completely cycle realistic behavior of the machine. So each time I hold the, the button down, it does the first part. So now it's starting um, the uh, T0 of the I1 cycle. And when I release this button, it's going to do the bump of the, um, the uh, instruction address register, the top line by one. So you see it's now showing one one as the address for the next instruction. So that's the, the T, um, T0 phase, now the T1 phase, and so on. We can see it's beginning to do the, um, the work of picking up the address for the, the instruction, which as you can see just the 4-bit is on in the opcode register, which means it's a execute I.O. instruction, X.I.O. So that uh, XIO instruction is going to do a sense. So we see it now beginning to um, pull up uh, locations. So it goes through T6, now it's in T7. You see the add status light is on. So that means this will continue to do addition. Oh, no, it didn't, okay, never mind. So it, uh, it did not need to do any rolling over. I, I guess I'll show that to you later, the way it um, does ripple adds, the way the 1130 works. So now we're in phase E1, execute one of T0, and we'll step through this and see it pick up information. Uh, so if we look in the, the uh, storage buffer, we can see that it, um, it's just transferred down the, the, um, the uh, IOCCC, which is the control word for IO. So we see in here the uh, 01001 is the area or the device, and this happens to be 2501, and then type of command, which is a start write. So, so in this case, it's the, the initiate write um, type of XIO. So it's got that in the accumulator, and then it's going to move that into the U register. Next thing it's going to do is fetch the, um, the uh, data address part, which happens to be, as you can see, 40.0040. This is the storage buffer address where data comes out of memory and that will get clocked in and used. So we see it move down into the D register now, which is typically the path that's from memory B, uh, SBR through the D register and then into wherever it's going. So it's, it's now going to be picking up something at that location that's in the accumulator, as we've just seen. Move to T5, T6, T7.